Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante and we're here at the Tug event. This is theCUBE where we extract the signal from the noise. We bring you the smartest people that we can find and help you understand how technology is being applied to solve business problems. We're here with Dana Samuels, who's the co-founder of Tug. Dana, first of all, great event tonight. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you coming on. Um, tell us a little bit more about, about Tug. We had uh, David on earlier, he gave us the background, but give us your perspectives. Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, Tug was created as a nonprofit platform to connect the local venture and technology community with local startup nonprofits. So its mission is to leverage that community to find resources and raise money for nonprofits to support youth entrepreneurship, education, and social innovation. And we target um, organizations that support youth um, that are the most at risk and are um, kind of living in Boston and in New England's under-resourced communities. So can you talk about some of those organizations? Yeah, so uh, one of the organizations that was here tonight um, is called Inner City Weightlifting. And that's been one that's come to a lot of tug parties, actually. It's kind of a crowd favorite. And this organization, it gets kids that have been associated with gangs and that potentially have, um, you know, a, maybe a criminal record or a violent past, or uh, have somehow, um, you know, broken away from from the gang life and are looking for uh, a way to, you know, start something new. So it trains them in um, Olympic weightlifting, and it gets them certified to be trainers. So basically, uh, they're operating out of different gyms around Boston, and these guys get their certification and they train people and. It's a great, great way to keep them, um, you know, off the streets, and, and it gives them a, a, a career path. That's awesome. So tell me about how you guys started this. I know Jeff Fagnan's one of your co-founders as well. Where'd the idea come from, and you know, how'd you get it off the ground? Yeah, I mean, I think the idea started with just a simple wine party um, amongst venture capitalists. So back in, I think- VCs love wine, don't they? they well, it's unbelievable. That was the idea, right? So if you get wine and a bunch of VCs in a room, you might be able to get them to pay a ticket price and um, use those proceeds to give to a local nonprofit. And it was successful the first year, and it was very successful the second year, and it just kind of grew every year until one year we decided we were getting so much attention, so much interest from the local community, and we're raising so much money, why not form a 501c3 around it and do this you know, throughout the year and give grants to as many local deserving nonprofits as we can. It's a fantastic event. I mean, the, the mix of people here is terrific. I mean, young and old and, and entrepreneurs, venture capitalists, nonprofit folks. I mean, really is a unique type of uh, arrangement. I've not seen anything like it. Yeah, no, I mean, we've got, um, you know, people from local venture firms, service providers in the industry, uh, established tech companies, startups, nonprofits, people that are sort of in the um, investor community, like anyone that sort of has any ties to venture capital or technology or local nonprofits has, has been here tonight. Yeah. Well, Boston's coming back in a big way in the, in the tech business and uh, Dana initiatives like this help a lot. So thanks for all your good work Thank and appreciate you, you coming on. Thank you very much. I appreciate right, great it. Great to meet you. Take care. All right, keep it right there. We'll be right back with our next guest.